Hello everybody, welcome to my video. It's my name is Jamie, and I'm from Morgan's Game. Today I'm doing a game pick up video. This is an idea I came up in August 2019. I've done one already, and this is episode two, and this is what I bought in September. Now, being a big game collector like myself, when the money is there, I like to buy games from time to time. And this is what I bought in September 2019. Okay, first game I bought in September 2019 is a game I used to own, but I lost it, unfortunately. But I've got it again. This is Dan Death 3, The Escape on the Amiga. These were the words uttered by our time as hero on the 14th of April 1950 in issue 1 of the Eagle comic. Now, 40 years on, the Mekon's plans are still to conquer Earth via diabolical genetic experiments with Dan as the guinea pig. Dan has alternated ideas with your assistant to make good his escape aboard the shuttlecraft while destroying the satellite space station and sending the Mechron back to his regeneration unit. This game, being part of the Dan Dare Nostalgia Collection, has been released 40 years to the day of the very first words being spoken by our interpreted hero. Dan, it's up to you to help him escape and continue the fight against evil. The story continues. Now, like I did with my first video, I'm going to play all the games. Dan Dare 3, The Escape by Probe Software Limited, published by Virgin Mastertronic. This is a game I used to own as a box version, but unfortunately, in the old days, that one got stolen. So I wasn't impressed with that, but I've got it again. Dan Dare 3, full name Colonel Daniel McGregor born on the 5th of February 1967 in Manchester in England. Education, he studied at Rosal, Cambridge and Harvard Universities. His hobbies are cricket, fencing, riding, painting, and model making. Fair play to him. Game came out in 1990. Developer Probe, publisher Virgin Mastertronic. 67% in Amiga format and 58% in CU Amiga. And it is a sideways comic flyabout directional shooter. And I haven't played it for years. Now you start the game with four lives. And you have a plasma rifle with limited bullets. And a jetpack with limited jets. Now, rule number one, we've got to escape. Rule number two, don't run out of bullets and don't run out of jets. You won't be going anywhere without either of those. So, we have an energy bar and a power bar, which works in the same way as the bean does in our type The longer you hold the fire button down, the bigger the bean. And because your bullets are so limited, you don't want to be missing their targets. Right, in the third game in the Dandare series, Dan has been kidnapped by the evil trends, led by Dan's arch enemy, the Moken. He is taken to their scientific satellite orbiting Venus, but it doesn't take long for Dan to break free and go down into their ship. While searching, he finds an escape shuttle in the launch bay. But unfortunately, it's out of fuel. So we've got to find some fuel. I killed the boss, and that gives us a pod to level 2. So we'll head that way now. Try and save your bullets as much as you can. So we go down here. There's enemies all over the place. Now you can get bullets, and you can buy extra jets, and a lot of other things as well. But they cost so much. Okay, we arrive at the pod. Let's go for the pod. We are in the pod. Rule number one, stay alive. Don't hit the sides. Avoid the yellow lines. That will hurt him. And uh, get through it and we reach the next level. But avoid those squares. We'll keep in the squares. And I love the music this game. Okay. Going well. Mind that, Jamie. That's going to hurt. Definitely going to hurt him in the morning. There we go. Teleportation successful. Stand by for reintegration. Level 2. Unfortunately, our energy has not replenished. What's worse than that? Our bullets have not replenished either. But our jets has. So, if we don't find a computer soon, even though there's one staring me right at me in the face, uh, we're going to run out of bullets. Now, bullets are about £100 or dollars, whatever the case may be. For 10 bullets. That's a lot of money for such limited bullets. Jamie, you're missing. But then some some walls you can shoot through. There we go, like that. But then the enemies can do that as well. Okay, so we need a computer. Right. Now, I used to own a box version of this a very, very long time ago. Even though I own it now. But it got stolen. Unfortunately, I had a box of Amiga games in my dad's garage. But unfortunately, someone broke into my dad's garage and stole those Amiga games. So I wasn't pleased about that. 
Not all of them are good games, but this one was there. But I've got it again, so I'm very pleased to get it again. Right, where is the computer? We need a computer. Right, Korea, 1987, Class 3, Space Pilot. 1997, Chief Pilots for the ISF Commendations. The Order of the United Nations for f leadership in the Venus Expedition of 1996. Okay, right, Jamie, your energy is bad. Really, really bad now. I don't know what's worse, my energy or my bullets. I don't know, it's sort of even Steven. I don't know who Steven is. There we go, we need a computer. Right, we have bullets! Boom, boom, pow! There we go! I didn't realise you could pick them up as well. Well, there we go! Sometimes they're free! Yes. But we need energy now. So now I need a computer for a different reason. To get some energy. Right, okay. Our enemies do take quite a lot of hits. I'm close to death. We do have four lives, though. I'm literally hanging on by a thread right now. This is probably going to end it for me. Yeah, I wasn't going to get down there anyway. Never mind. Okay, that's one way of replenishing your energy. Right, okay, but in, but bullets is still bad. Uh, where are we going to get some more bullets from? We're not always going to find them, just sitting around waiting to be picked up. We need to go to a terminal and buy them. But it's not just bullets you can buy, you can buy additional weapons, and of course, you can buy extra jets, and fuel, which is why we're here. Okay. Is there any computers around here that sells bullets and energy? No, we've just gone around in a loop. Okay, right, we're going to have to deal with it. Go some fully charged power shots. Make sure you hit their target. Hit the target. But behind him is some fuel. I'm shooting you in the head. Occasionally. Not all the time. Right, I'm now out of ammo. I'm now stuck. And I'm on fire. Does my weapon replenish after death? No. I am not going to go any further than this. Not without bullets. Can I borrow that gun just for a minute, please? Right. Right, unfortunately, we've got to go back through here again so I can get to the shop. <laughs> so, yeah, at the moment, I can't shoot anything. I don't have any bullets to shoot with. So, we will trace our steps. Or we'll trace space in this case. So, yeah, we're actually going back in time. We're going back a level. Doing what I need to do. A gun is not a good gun with no bullets in it. We can fly around, that's fine. Teleportation successful. Stand by for integration. Okay, we arrive at the terminal. This is where we buy extra lights, nukes, homing missiles, freeze, shield, spray ammo, bouncing bombs, standard ammo, and blast off. Of course, they're not going to be cheap. They never are, are they? I've got £1,400 or dollars. But I'm going to buy some more ammo. Go for four. Let's max it out. Okay. Where else do we buy? Homing missiles? Nukes? Uh, free shield spray ammo. That's a spray ammo, why not? Spice it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, we have a spread ammo. Now we need to go up here before our shield runs out. But at least we're going to run out of bullets now. down here. Make the use of this before it runs out. There we go. Okay, in we go again. Through the terminal. Alright. Avoid the sides. Avoid the squares. Avoid the lines. We're not f quite following the yellow bit row, but we are following the yellow squares. Well, now every level has one of these at the end, apart from the final level, of course. There we go. Teleportation successful, but now we have more weapons. Okay, I'm here again, but I do have much more weapons this time. But 98. Nice. Not a lot of money, though. At least now we can actually defeat the second boss. 
And hopefully find some fuel in the process. That'd be nice. That's why he's here, right? He didn't get anywhere without fuel. We're going for the plasma rifle. Okay, we have 89 bullets. Very nearly panicked there, but I'm dead. That must have hurt. No wonder there's all these knees. Let me shoot the right way. Triple kill! Right, energy is going down fast. Okay, boss battle again, but this time we have more bullets. So now I'm actually shooting you in the head, but hopefully you've got enough firepower to do the job. Hard to level three, and we have fuel. Excellent. Not a lot of fuel, but we're off the mark. Avoid the gun. So now we go and find the pod. I'm not being funny, uh, Dan Dare, but I don't think you're going to be escaping today. But then this isn't a long play, not today. Save it for another day. Right, level three, but look at how bad I am in. The only thing I've got is jets. Everything else is critical. So, probably a one hit die situation for me. Right, we have missiles. Let's use them, even though it's going to be very, very limited. Nice. I like these. One hit from a homing missile does the trick. Unfortunately, a lot of these narrow passageways, if there's an enemy down there, you're not going to be able to dodge. Okay. So how strong are these bullets in terms of... Oh, there. Jeremy, try not to shoot too much. But then we're close to death. There we go, I'm dead. <laughs> Didn't end well for him. Try again, Dan. Another day. But there we go. That is Dan Death 3. Next game I bought is one of my favourites of all time. This is Batman the Movie. Now, I do actually own this as a box already. I had this one, which I bought last year. But as you can see, it's a different size. And also, the back is blank. But this one is not. But it also comes with the Batman sticker, which I'll be keeping and never going to use. Batman is a shadow in the darkness and elusive as a dream. High above the scenery streets of Gotham, he is a criminal nightmare, the only hope for a desperate city. Great game, fantastic, came out in 1989 by Ocean. Batman the Movie came out in 1989 by Ocean Software. And this was what I got when I got my very first Amiga 500 in 1989, which of course was the Batman pack. This is the best I can do at the moment, however I'm not going to be wearing this very long because it actually smells of cat wee. I think my cat has got some answering to do. Yeah, it stinks. But anyway, this is Batman the movie, and this is a great game. My favourite movie-based game ever. So let's go. That does. That smells of cat wee. What has he been doing? Why is he weeing on my Batman mask? What are you doing, cat? What are you doing? Where does he get those wonderful toys? Well, this one was online, but unfortunately it wasn't the one I wanted at first, but that one got lost in the post. We got it refunded, of course, but it didn't have any more in stock. So I bought this one instead. Okay, this is level one. This is the Axis Chemical Factory. This is my favorite Batman game of all time and my favorite movie-based game of all time. Now, unfortunately, I don't quite have a Batman's voice because I'm not Batman. I'm not Bruce Wayne either. This is the best I can do. Now you start the game with two lights, even though it looks like we should have three, but we have two. But when you reach the end of the level, you do actually gain another extra life. Now we have a time limit, and we do get an energy bar. The energy bar is actually the picture in the middle of Batman, which is not me. Every time you take a hit, whether you get hit by gunfire, a grenade, or maybe even toxic gas, it will slowly turn into the Joker. When the full Joker's image is unveiled, you die. Now even though the Joker doesn't exist yet, because at the moment, he's currently Jack Napier. You don't want to see the full image of the Joker. Now you have a Batarang and a Bat Rope, but can also fall through the floor by pressing down and fire. It can also crouch, but then so can they. I got shot in the... legs there. Watch out for the acid spills and the acid drips. Now enemies use the ladders. You don't have to use the ladders. I think the Bat Rope or doing that is a much easier thing and much quicker anyway. But even though he's very, very talented, very, very skilled, he can't fall from big distances. Whether you've got full energy or not, that would be an instant kill. Okay. It takes one hit with a Batarang to kill the enemy. 
these grenade people are so accurate. Whether you're high or low, they'll definitely throw them at you. And they'll mostly hit you. So you've got to keep on the move all the time. I got shot in the back of the legs. Sorry about that. So my image is now starting to turn into the Joker, as you can see. So the object of this level is to find and kill Jack Napier. He'll fall into acid and then turn into the Joker. Now, not all levels on this game are done on foot. One of them is in the Batwing and one of them is in the Batmobile, which is one of my favourite levels in the game. And there's also a level where it takes place in Batcave, which is the shortest level in the game. So anyway, we have time limits. Watch out for the time limits. We don't want to run out of time yet. Now, you can crouch, but then so can the enemy. But they're quite difficult to avoid, especially when they shoot up and down. Now, when they're climbing the ladders, they can't actually shoot at you. So that's the time to go for it. But then, you know, I can go up the ladder if I want to. But nine times out of ten, I don't. I just use the drop-in through the floor or the back rope. It's much quicker and easier and safer. Now, in the cathedral level, you don't have ladders. You have to use the stairs. Like normal people. Not everyone has a back rope. Okay. Lots and lots of drips. There's more drips in this place than on the kitchen tap. Now avoid these people, they are so de deadly. Dangerous. There we go. Now you can actually alter the screen by pressing up and down. Gives you a good look around. Which is marvellous, because you fall too far, instant kill for Mr. Batman. Okay, so it's a case of going backwards and forwards, and wait for the right time, and we pounce. Hopefully, kill him before he finds out. There we go. I love the music of this game, I love the sound effects of this game, I love everything about this game. It's a tremendous game. But now I've got two box versions. I've got a small box version and a big box version. Which is a good connection to any Amiga collector. Okay. Turn around and I shot him in the shoulders. There we go. And when they die, they fall down the screen. Right, lots and lots of drips here. This bit can be a bit tricky, but you do need a well-timed back rope shot. Shot in the shoulders. That was terrible. That's what happens if you don't plan it through. You get shot in the shoulder, shot in the chin. Yeah, and more of the Joker's image is now unveiled. So now I've got it quite difficult now. But anyway, I can complete this game pretty much every time I play it. I've never actually completed it without dying. Well, I have done a long play in the past, but I'm going to redo it because I did have quite a few problems with my Elgato on that day. But then that was quite early in my channel. So I'm going to redo that. But I'm more than happy to do it again here. But even though this is not a long play. Now you can actually use your back rope to swing. Now in the cathedral level, you do need that quite a lot. But also, if you hit a wall, that will also drain your energy. Now you can land on the enemy's heads. That will also kill them. Now, I, I thought it actually drains your energy, but it doesn't. Right, I am very, very close to death right now. However, I've still got a quite a difficult section to come. Right, I'm very, very close to death now. Uh, this is not a good situation to be in. For me and Batman. Now, this, is, this mask is incredibly uncomfortable. It's got three bits of padding, but trouble is, I think this mask is actually for children. So it's actually pressing on the bridge of my nose and the area in between my eyeballs. So it's very, very uncomfortable and quite itchy as well. How Batman does it on a regular basis, I don't know, but his is not made of plastic. And his one fits his face perfectly, because it's designed for his face. Right, up here is where Jack Napier is, but there is a person throwing grenades. So this is going to be difficult. I think it's a one-hit-die situation for me now. There we go, I did it! What a skin of my teeth! There we go, he falls in the toxic gas! Now he's officially the Joker! There we go, I'm pleased with that. Can I take this off now? This hurts. Jack is dead! The Joker lives! Oh, My nose hurts. It's almost like someone's pressing on your nose continuously. Right, a quick go. We've done the... My nose actually does smell of cat wee now. Thanks, Jasper. <laughs> okay, this is the streets of Gotham City, which is my favourite level in this game. I love the sound effects, and I love the music, and I love that grappling hook. Now, at the top of the screen is an arrow. The arrow tells you which way to go. 
and it will tell you which way you need to turn. Now, when you have to turn, you get three chances at it. If you mess it up three times, you're hit by a roadblock, and that's an instant kill. But also, our energy bar is the same as the other level. So whether you're in the car, on the back wing, or on foot, the same energy applies. Every time you hit a car, hit a signpost, it again will slowly turn into the Joker. But a roadblock is an automatic death, automatic kill, automatic Joker face. There we go. Now I love this level. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm not great at driving games, but I love this one. There we go, and I love that sound. Right. We've got to go that distance. At the moment it's at 78 points. No, it's not. 71.8. So, quite a long way to go, but this is not a long play today, Jamie. Now we've actually gained an extra life, but we do get a time limit as well. Which is quite mean of them. Right. Avoid the cars. They have every right to be here. Okay. So it's up to accelerate, down to brake, and fire and the left and right to shoot the grappling hook. And then it turns automatically. That was close by the skin of my teeth for the second time today. Or should we say the skin of Batman's teeth? Right, okay. Energy is okay. I need to hit that van. Now sometimes I can do this all the way through without dying. But it does take some doing, but it doesn't involve quite some good driving skills. And I'm not great at driving games, I have to admit. A lot of my subscribers will know that, because I have streamed quite a few of driving games, and I'm terrible at them. More of a shoot up fan myself, and a little bit of a platformer as well. Now Jamie, you've taken quite a few hits, but we are over the halfway point. Now if the roads are quite clear, I tend to go and take a gamble and go for the line up last one. Save some time. If it's a busy road at that point, then I usually go for the turn as early as possible. Does that make sense? There you go. Turn, turn. Right, my car is currently smoking. I'm talking about the Mars that Jim Carrey starred in, but there we go. Need to take it s not slow and steady. You know, slow and steady does win the race from time to time, but not like really the case in driving games. 37.6. Whenever I do this level, it always goes down to the wire. Every time. 33 distance to go, but only got 1 minute 20. Now this car is very, very fast, and it's gotta be. Right, hang on, slow down, slow. There we go. Love this music, it's not, this is my favourite music in the game. When we got our Amiga 500 in... 1989, thank you dad, it was the Batman pack we got, and it got played to absolute death. And still does. However, that's the first time I've played it wearing a Batman mask. And probably the last time as well. <laughs> there we go. This is going to go down to the wire, look at that time, look at the distance. When I long played it, I actually made it with one second to go. Not once, but twice on the bat wing level, bat wing level as well. Whoa, that was bad. Turn, Jamie, turn. Turn. Here we go. Two. Ten seconds to go. One. We have arrived. You have escaped the Joker, but what secrets lie ahead? That took every one of my lives away. Every single one is gone. So there you go. You definitely got the last laugh there, didn't you? Go on then, laugh in my face. Go on, you know you want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Yeah, you win that one. To be resumed though, mate. To be resumed. <laughs> Second game I bought is also an Amiga. This is Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters, which is a very, very long title. Lots of beautiful girls have been abducted to Planet X by the evil reptilians. And when I say abducted, I mean, well, yes, exactly, it's a disgrace. And those evil reptilians are downright evil. And that's not all. There's more. Where? Inside, of course. Good luck, men. 
We join our heroes on the surface of Planet X where a rescue mission is in progress. The reptilians have enslaved the humans stationed there. They are being forced to create an evil robot army destined to destroy the Earth. Listen out for our next broadcast. The fate of the world is in your hands. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. Escape from the planet of the robot monsters. One of the longest titles I know in a video game. You have been selected as a member of the interplanetary SWAT team. Planet X, a synthetic industrial planetoid, has been taken over by the evil reptilons. The reptilons have enslaved the humans stationed there. They are being forced to create an evil robot army destined to destroy Earth. Your mission, transport all hostages back to the ship, destroy all robots, rid Planet X of the real reptilons, and find and rescue Sarah. Just for that in time, even though I didn't read all of it. Okay, escape from the planet of the robot monsters, programmed by Barry Costa, graphics Neil Adamson, by Domar, and Tengen. Factory map of Planet X. Yellow is Factory Wave. Blue is Canal Maze Bonus Wave. Red is Reptilon Wave. Okay, this is the start of the game and we're thrown right in the deep end, which is bad news if you can't swim. And this game reminds me of the game Dead Rising. Now, Dead Rising takes place in a shopping mall and you're being attacked by whores and whores of zombies. No zombies here, we've been attacked by whores and whores of robots, but luckily we do have a ray gun. Don't fall off the edge, Jamie. Don't fall off the edge. So that guy behind me is having a nervous breakdown. This is how I feel. Try beating my shoes. Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters is an arcade game developed by Atari Games in 1989, and the game is based loosely around the campy science fiction B-movies of the 1950s. They start the game with three lies, three blocks of energy, and nine bombs. Now, it currently looks like we've got some sort of meeting going on, and I'm going to do the meeting. Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the group. Today, you can be killed by my ray gun. It's easier said than done. And to use a bomb, it's the left alt key on the keyboard. If your player is two player, the second player will use the right alt key on the keyboard. Now, one of these enemies does look like a little bit like the old, the old character that was advertising Weetabix. For those of you who don't know what Weetabix is, Weetabix is a breakfast cereal. Okay. Now, we hit the switch, but we're going to try and take care of these enemies, and then we'll go up the escalator. But try and rescue as many hostages as you can. Now, each enemy will drop a green crystal, or green gem. Pick them up for additional points. But also, these robots will continuously respawn. So I'm fighting a losing battle. Let's go upstairs, shall we? We're up the escalator. Now, the game is set out quite similar to Degeneration, which is a game I have long played on my channel. Now, luckily, you do have unlimited firepower, but your rate of fire does change when that bar drops. But some of these enemies are very, very fast indeed. It's very difficult to outrun a robot that is very, very fast. They've probably got wheels. Most of them have legs, but some of them probably do have wheels, which is probably why they go faster than others. Right, there's more hostages. Whether you're having a nervous breakdown or you're hitting something with a hammer, I don't know. Your life is easy compared to what I've got to do. I just got shot in the face. But this game is very, very generous with the credits. You start the game with nine credits. There's not many games I know that gives you nine credits, especially old school ones. I haven't used any bombs yet, but I think it's best to save your bombs for the later levels. But I might have to start using them soon, because they're getting out of control once again. Luckily, they don't fire that often, but they are very, very accurate when they do. When you're in very, very confined space, it's quite difficult to dodge. And you can also fall off the edge if you're not careful. They will just continuously respawn. So I'm going to try and run for it and try and find an exit. Where's it to go? Ah, oh, escalator. Up the escalator. Oh, there's a hostage there. Sorry, I missed you. Oh, dear. That looks like a Mario box. There is so many enemies here. If you're using auto fire, you can't crouch. And to crouch, you have to press fire and press the direction you're facing to crouch. But it doesn't 
crouch continuously. He only crouches for a short period of time, and he'll get back up. Right. There we go, you're safe! Safe, 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 and safe! There we go! I'm not, though. I'm definitely not safe. Far from it. Probably shoot the hostages if you're not careful. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to find out. Whoa, we've got a jumping one now. Right, the portomatic. Let's go there. Rescue him, and I'm assuming that's the way to go. But hit these marrow boxes first. There we go. We're out of there. Go through the tube. Mission complete. Factory one. Free life every. 100,000 points! There we go! Ray power, two! 17 freed hostages, but well, there was one I missed! Steer the cyber sled through the canal maze! Oh, okay, I've never seen this before! Okay, it's now a shoot em up! We're going through the maze! Now, when I streamed this game, I didn't get here. And that was the first time I played it. Right, so we're going to a maze. A maze I don't know anything about. No dead ends. You did not make it. You get no bonus. The computer will select your next sector. Okay, so now we go up to the left. The computer will choose where we want to go. But you can see where we need to go. We've got a long way to go. And there's going to be a lot of enemies, robots, on the way there. And once again, we're thrown once again in the deep end. I really shot that person. No wonder he's angry and he blew up his control panel. I shot him. I shot him and I rescued him. Mission complete. Factory 2. Free life points. Factory 2 completed. There we go. 36 free hostages. Is that on, in total or just on that level alone? Prepare for the battle with the evil reptilon. Use your bombs. Well, lucky I've got quite a few. Now, I've never actually seen this before. Never. Those are bombs. Right, I've got 21 bombs. Never seen this before. I'm guessing they are pretty bad, the amount of bombs they're giving me right now. Is this like a boss battle? Are you answering me, or are you pleased to get your bombs? I don't know what to expect. The funny thing, this is not going to be an easy task. Well, mate, I don't know what to expect. I have got no idea. We're now locked in this room. So that's a reptile on. Oh my lord. Okay, he's put it home in. He squished me like a bug. There we go. Have some of that. Boom! And he turns a lot to lots of gems. Oh, they weren't there for very long. Well, that's not too bad, but I do have bombs, and I have quite a few. Okay, he squished me once, not twice. There you go. You're free, and so am I. There we go. Factory three. A grand total of 56 free hostages. Factory four completed. Unfortunately, I'm running out of continues, and running out of lives. And running out of bombs. In that order, I think. I'm following you, and while I'm following you, I'm killing you! There we go! Oh, he's not dead yet. But unfortunately, I've run out of bomb, but I wasn't expecting this guy to go through a second phase. But his bullets home in on me, so I'm going to have to kill him with the ray gun. It's proving quite difficult because he keeps running me over. Right, unfortunately, the enemy has now departed. But unfortunately, I didn't kill him. He got so bored by waiting so long that he's actually gone without me. Uh, but as a result of that, I got no credits, no life, no energy, and I'm dead. So I was stuck in the room anyway. I couldn't get out of there. Next game I bought is on the C64 this time. This is The Last Ninja 2. Now, I have got Last Ninja 1. I did do a long play. I'm going to do a long play of this one in the future as well. Formidable martial arts, arcade action, beautiful animated and impressive scenery backdrops, stunning graphics and a top buzz action. Not a lot of description on the back, but I'm going to try it out, but of course, a future long play is going to be done. 
Last Ninja 2, System 3, copyright 1988. Music by Matt Gray, I see, I didn't know that. Now this might surprise you, that even though I have completed the first game, I've never played this one before. So, this game is very well known for its music, of course, so let's give it a whirl. Okay, this is the start of the game, this is Last Ninja 2. Not a long play today, save it for a future day. But this is a tremendous game, looks great, sounds great, all round great game, just like the first game was. But the first game was difficult in my opinion. But it took me some time, but eventually I did get the long play that you awesome subscribers deserved. At the moment I'm punching this guy repeatedly in the chin. There you go. He falls down in the heap. Now in this game, they do have energy bars, but also once they're down, some of them, their energy will start to refill again, and when that happens, they'll get back up for another go. Right, we're surrounded by musical instruments, but no musical instrument playing today. I've got decent music playing. I don't need to play musical instruments. Okay, fall down here, and we pick up a key. Now, he's picking up is a lot easier, and his jumping has been slowed down. At the moment, we have no weapons. Right, avoid the policemen. These policemen are armed with stars. And like I did with the first game, long play, try and avoid confrontations by avoiding... Battles. Avoiding battles saves energy. Wait for him to get to a safe distance and hopefully we will avoid another confrontation. But he does throw stars. You want to get a star hit in the back of the head. That drains so much energy. Right, this guy is armed and with a weapon. I have not got a weapon yet. So I'm punching you in the shoulder, kicking you in the groin. Your energy's draining, but then so is mine. Yours replenishes, mine doesn't. I use hamburgers for that. Right, we go into the ladies' toilet. <laughs> we pick up one half of a nunchuck and trace our steps. Again, avoid you. I don't have any weapon yet. We're going to change that very, very soon. Keep jumping. Right, we have a juggler. Now jugglers are very, very skilled, but this one tries to kill you. He's juggling blades, but every now and then he'll throw one at you, so make sure you keep jumping. Right, pick up the item on the floor. And in the first game, you can't climb until you've picked up a claw. No claw here. In fact, climbing is ready to go right from the start. This is where we get a weapon. This is a staff. Which is handy because it's got good range. I don't fall from up here. That is an instant kill. They nearly did. Right, press spacebar to arm yourself with a weapon. However, I've got to put it away again because I need it to climb. I've got to climb. And make sure you're facing backwards. This can be a bit tricky. Tricky. You haven't done it before. There we go. Falling from there will be an instant kill. It's not that far, but here it is. Okay, boy the evil juggler. And I failed miserably. Okay, killed by a juggler. I'm never going to a circus ever again, but in the I've only been to one in my life and I hated it. Okay. We're armed and dangerous. Right. Watch out, mate. I've got a staff and I'm not afraid to use it. But again... Try and avoid confrontations, even though I'm failing miserably. He will follow. You won't give up. Right, over there is food. So we go to the hot dog stand, or the burger stand, and we pick up a burger. But first, we've got to beat this guy up. But his energy is already filling up. So pick up the burger. We have the burger. That took a bit of time. Right, now we both have got weapons. This is good range. Stab you in the neck with a staff. Right, we go into another lady's toilet. This guy's got a thing about ladies' toilets. And we pick up the second half of the nunchuck. So now we have fully usable nunchucks. But we're going to stick with this because it's got good range. That guy gets back up again. 
Quick, 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 he's throwing stars. Right, F3, we equip the key. You put your staff away and open the door. We go in. There we go. Right, this game is very well known for its water. What I've played so far, it's not as bad as the first game. You jump onto the boat, then jump off of the boat. The boat was there at the correct time. Right, now we have evil bumblebees. And they take so much energy. I find the best way is to go here, then go back again. So that gives you a little bit more time. You don't want to get stung by loads and loads of bumblebees. Even I just have, it stung me in the back of the neck. Work in progress for this game. I'm not an expert yet. They're stinging me, good and proper. Right, jump over the water. And we have another boat. We've got to set it on its way. There we go. That's on its way. Okay, avoid the bumblebees again. Okay, we trace our steps, and now we have that boat again. They're at the perfect time. There we go. That is the end of the first level. More to follow in the future long play. But there we go. Now we go to the street. Next game I bought is back on the Amiga again. This is Elf Mania. Now, I've got a demo of this somewhere. I've had it for absolutely years. But unfortunately, that demo only had two characters. And those two characters were actually the same character. But it's a really good looking game. A little bit slow, but I thought, why not? It looks good. Welcome to Marmulandia. A miraculous land of elves. Dispose the ruling king by challenging his champion fighters to win the dragon fan and the secrets of the universe will be yours. Now this actually game got really, really good ratings. But I'm gonna need some serious practice, but there we go. The ultimate fancy beat-em-up of the 90s. This is Elf Mania, copyright 1994. Now I played this in the very old days on a demo disc, and I have to admit, I do miss demo disc days. I've probably got a disc somewhere in my house. Thank you. Select your pal. The computer's already done so. I shall calm you down for good. Now the players on that demo is actually that girl, but on both sides. That's the only character I've used. Now you start the game with $75. So you have to pay for your fighter. So I'm guessing that's why there's only three available, because they're the cheapest. So, okay, $75. Ladies first. We're going for the same person. Get ready for some real action. Okay. Now it's one battle to win. It's not the best of three or anything like that. It's one battle, one win, and that is all. Now it's 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 a it's certainly different, but I I've always liked the graphics in this game. There's not many moves, there's not many special moves. It's not the fastest beat em up I've ever played. Your jumping is very, very slow. You do get these coins. It's a bit unusual how they appear. But you have to earn them by punching or kicking them. But you can actually hit them at your opponent. But I'm guessing we need to pick up as much as we can. That way we buy extra players. But there's no time limit, which is very, 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 very rare for beat em ups. Alright. Now blocking is down and fire. But the jumping is an issue. There we go, I kicked you in the legs. They drop treasure and you punch it to earn it. And then she's rocking with her imaginary guitar, which I can't see and you can't see mine either. It's just invincible, you know? There we go. Uh, coins hit 7. Win bonus 50. Total coins 88. Entering map screen. Okay, so now we go back to the map and we have 88 coins. So not much more than what I just had just now. Okay, we'll go next door. We'll go to the same location pretty much. I'll cost you $88. We don't have enough for another character yet, so we'll go Thank for you. it. I'm your opponent. You. Okay, watch out for falling trees. Okay, and each character has a star rating. This one is two. two. I'll get you. Playtime. Okay. You need to get off to a good start, but then that is always the way with beat em up, isn't it? I think that two-footed kick to the legs is probably the strongest move. Let's do a special move, it's that. But the trouble is, when you're trying to achieve it, the character knows you're going to do it. But you have to hold the fire button down and press back. 
continuously. No way to treat a lady. If she has got pointy ears. Not many special moves. Whoa! I'm dazed. Done? She's rocking them away with her imaginary guitar. Prize count. Total coins, 34. Coins hit. What? Bonus, 50. Bring our total to 85. Not earning a lot of coins here. 85 again. Okay, we'll move on. I'll cost $85. You're expensive. It's a mirror match. This is just like how the demo was in the old days. Where that demo disc is, I don't know. It's in my house somewhere. The difference between that demo and this game is the area. Okay. You can make the first move. First attack. Me. You can daze them. Unfortunately, you can't hit them again. You have to wait until they're not dazed and back on their feet. Quite a lot of these beat em ups, if you daze your opponent, you get a free hit. Not here. It's very rare to play a beat em up with no time. There we go! I. Yes! I'm victorious! Watch the rotating blade. Oh my lord, five star rating. Rotating blade, I don't like the sound of that. Double prize fight, the village. He's got a sword, I don't like these odds. This is no way to treat a lady. I don't have a sword. What has his high heels? They know we're gonna do it. They know. Trust me. Trust you? You've got a sword. I can't trust you with a sword. Well, we are in the snow. He's going to freeze. In a way, I suppose I want him to. I don't know, I don't know any other moves. I'm guessing they only get the one. Special move, I mean. There was his. There we go. Game over player one. It ends so quickly. No rematch. No second battle. The Pirate Harbor. That's about that. Ryan can be impressed with that. Oh, I see. So every time I get hit, you take my coins away. I think that's how it works. So if you get perfect, you don't lose any coins. The so special moves can actually gain you more coins. Because you're hitting them. Ah! That was a Shoyuken right there! I kicked you in the chin! There we go! Jamie, the idea, to get, the idea is to collect those! If you don't collect them, we're not going to gain a lot of money! Oh, I don't know about that, we'll see, right? Look at the energies, mate. Look at the difference. There we go, kick you in the ear. <laughs> One. Didn't get all of them, but wasn't far off. Total coins, 40. Oh, nearly 100, but there we go. Wow, 130. That's the best one yet. Wow, do I keep the same person or take a gamble? Hmm. Okay, let's go. I'll fight you again, shall we? Right, he has a sword. Yes. My turn to use a sword. Wanna taste my sword? Yes. Well, no, I don't want to taste it. He's going to taste it, hopefully. 
Right, it's what? Jamie with a sword. Versus line. someone that has a drink. Right, and his moves are different. But he has to, he does have good range. But then with a sword, you expect that. Oh, yes. Stab you repeatedly in the stomach. Nice. What's his special move? My lord, how, that was that was quite a lot easier. No wonder I kept losing this guy. Well, there we go. I think I found my favourite character. There we go. You look like you stabbed yourself in the head there. 119, 120, 129, 100... Wow, 179! Boom, have some of that! Oh, what is this? Playtime, yeah, I can see that. What do we have to do? Okay, we've just got to gain as much treasure as we possibly can. We can get this in Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. It's quite difficult to actually hit them in the air with very, very slow moves. He's really out of breath. My lord, 199. Blimey. Next game I bought is on Emilia. This is WizKid. WizBall got married and had a kid. Now, I do own WizBall on the C64. I've never finished it. Maybe a future long play if I can get round to doing it. It's that difficult. Wizkid, and just like his pop, he can't resist a challenge. Nifter and feline family friend has been captured along with Wizball and the wizard. They've all been thrown into the dungeons of Zark's castle except Nifter, who has been imprisoned in a turtle jail. Got all that? Good. And that is just the start of your adventure in this totally original, well it's kind of cute, a bit of arcade, yet it's the best boss up on the software scene. Go for it, gorge yourself on a feast of crazy zany graphics and a game that will have your joystick pleading for mercy and your ma screaming, your dinner's still hot because the bin's on fire. She wouldn't say that like that. But anyway, great game, good fun. Let's try it. Ocean presents Sensible Software. Whiz kids, let me go. That jolly little chap there. <laughs> He's so much better than me. Jamie, you must get out more. <laughs> Wizkid. Sensible Software. The same people that did Sensible Soccer and cannon fodder. The story of Wizball 2. Wizkid. Round 0. Training course. Hi, my name is BD Snail. Nice to meet you. And it's my job to help you learn the wonderful world of Wizkid. Well, I have played it quite a few times, actually. Your head can dislodge bricks. Try to smash these bricks. Good. Flying bricks can kill baddies. Well, it'll probably kill quite a lot of things if you hit them with a brick. Smash the bricks to kill the bees. Well, bees are quite horrible in games, I have to admit. Mega. One brick can kill many monsters. Hit the purple brick where indicated as hard as possible. There we go. Four kills. Your wars is a multi-nasty destruction is a bubble. Collect different colours to make a note. We're making good progress. Some bubbles contain a prize. Pop the bubble to gain a clown's nose. Now all the tolls you dislodge can be juggled on your head. Well there we go. You have a big nose and I have a big red nose. Holding down the fire button whilst juggling will able to direct the tiles. Okay. Like being a circus. Pop this bubble to gain thunder choppers. Okay. Hold down the fire button will enable you to pluck single tiles. <laughs> I've got teeth. 
Yes. But now we can chomp tiles. Holding the fire button down, we put one in our mouth. <laughs> no, I'm not putting one in my mouth. It is also possible to catch these tiles with practice. Congratulations, training is complete. I've still got the... I've still got it in my mouth. To complete the level, pick up the kitten. Good luck, soldier. I'll let it go now. There we go. I'm now officially trained in WizKit. Round one, Sunset Wizard. Okay, this is where the action begins. We've got to kill butterflies using these. Now try and do combos as much as you can, because some of them do actually respawn. A bit like this. The more you can kill with one, the better. And that also helps you gain extra notes. And this game is all about notes. Not about the notes I usually tend to do when I do long plays. We've gained our clown nose again. Oh joy! I've now got a big red clown's nose. Which I can't breathe in this thing. Now for those of you that are not familiar with Comic Relief, which happens in March in the UK, we buy these red noses to earn money for charity. And every year they do different designs and this one is quite uncomfortable because it's very difficult to breathe with this thing on. But there we go, he's got a big red nose and I'm going to do the same. Okay, we have lots and lots of bricks and lots and lots of butterflies to kill. But we can juggle even though I'm not doing it. But I do have some juggling balls at home but I can't juggle. This is the closest I can get to real life juggling. There we go, that was a good one. Now, provided we have this nose currently on our face, we can keep juggling. And you can keep it going. There we go. Kill one butterfly, I killed you. Try and get all the notes. Now, hit him at an angle should result in a death somehow. And probably a combo, there's a lot going on on the screen. There we go! We've got coins! Collect the coins, and now we're going to demolish this person's house. We hit the bricks. I'm breaking this person's roof. And now you've got a penguin on your roof. Did you know you've got a penguin on your roof? Not much longer, I'm kill him with your roof. I killed him on your roof with your roof. And I'm juggling with the bricks from your roof with a big red nose. And that you don't hear on a daily basis, unless your name is Wizkid. Now we have Big Wiz Nuts. Packets of Big Wiz Nuts I'm going to use to kill butterflies with. And they're quite easy to juggle with because they're so big. So yeah, if you can't juggle with these, you're going to struggle with this game. Keep it going. We have a tune, which rewards us with lots and lots of coins. Lovely. Right, we have $128. Now that will buy us a carrot on a stick, a newspaper, and a star. I don't know what any of those do. What should I buy? A star probably sounds like the good one, I expect. Sold. And we'll go back to being ahead. You can buy a body if you want to. Right, we have more penguins. That was that was good. That was very, very good, actually. Sometimes there's a lot of luck in this game. Just hit and hope sometimes. Right, more butterflies. That was poor. That was even poorer. Keep collecting those notes. A lot more to get. Not all work to do. <clears throat> there we go. And more big whiz nuts. Right, I've lost my nose. Okay. We're still ahead, but we have no big nose. We can't juggle. Right, we currently need two greens and two blues, but there's a kitten. Collect the kitten and we go on to round four. The elementary, my dear, whiz kit. Now I have played this quite a lot in the old days, but I can't remember how far it is to get in the old days. Right, now we're in the trees. Or tree. 
It's in big leaves. Killing bugs with big leaves in a big, big tree. We have a red nose again. Whoa! Watch out, Jamie. We have a red nose again. I'm juggling with leaves. Keep it going. Do a lot of damage with a leaf. Here we go. Coins! Look at that! More coins to buy unknown items. I don't know what they do. There we go, that was a good shot. That was even better. Nice! Not too shabby at all. All needs a blue note. Now I don't want red. You're giving me so many reds. I want blue. There we go. We have a tune. Nice. Collect as many coins as possible. We have 228 coins. What's that going to get me? Uh, we don't have a nose though. Uh, we have a flying scarf, a hidden screen, a blue speck, a bonbon, or a star. Well, I can't afford that star. We'll go for... Go for a flying scarf. What does it do? So we've got a flying scarf. I don't know what it does. Absolutely no idea. Apart from keep you warm in the winter. But then you wouldn't fly with one. Oh, Jamie, this is bad. That is good. You don't buy the skin of my teeth. There's another cat. My lord. Round seven. That's quite a big jump. Whizkid goes to the circus. My nose is really itchy now. Right, I've, I, I've never got this far. That was fairly straightforward. Only once have I ever been to a circus, and I hated it. I really hated it. We have a TNT, a mouse, a hidden screen, a shop pin, and a star. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's good, what's bad. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you anything in the book. Mouse? I don't know, go for another star, I guess. Mind you, a sharp pin is expensive. Let's go for a sharp pin. We have a sharp pin. We've got a cat again! There we go! Level 9, Jail House Whiz. The big Whiz Nuts. On the back of a tortoise. I'm not talking about Golden Axe. First place, baby! I'll have some of that. There we go! Top of the pile! There's my name, Boom Boom Pow! Have some of that! The final game I bought in this month is Dalek Attack, and it's on the Amiga once again. It's the year 2254, and Earth has been invaded by the most ruthless and vicious race in the universe, the Daleks. Under instruction from their leader, the evil Davros, they have captured four major cities, London, Paris, New York, and Tokyo. Each city has been sealed off using a dome force field and the Daleks have constructed huge ozone destroying machines that have been carefully located in each of the cities. To ensure its success, the Daleks have not come alone. They have brought with them their henchmen, the Ogrons, also vile mutants who have been developed a taste for Earthlings. Dinosaurs who have been cloned and programmed to attack humans and of course a range of their huge super robot guardians armed with the very latest weaponry. The Time Lords have summoned the Doctor to help the humans combat this terror and save the universe from the evil of the Daleks. There we go. Doctor Who is definitely going to need help here. Cue the intro. This is Dalek Attack. Played it once on one of my streams. I love the music to it. I was a big fan of the old school Doctor Who's. I have to admit, I haven't watched many of the new ones. In the old days, me and my brother used to be absolutely terrified of the Cybermen and the Daleks. We were young. We just hid behind the sofa. And there is Sylvester McCoy, who I've actually met at a convention. And as a bonus, I also met Colin Baker, who was actually there on the same day. There we go. Great music. Doctor Who! Stronger when the 
our time is right, we will emerge and take our rightful place as the supreme power of the universe! Exterminate! 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 Is it safe? Is it safe? They've wrecked my computer! <laughs> Okay, this is the start of the game. This is Dark Attack. And we are playing as Sylvester McCoy. And we're in a sewer. Now, the end of the game is to get through the sewer and try and rescue as many bosses as you can and avoid getting attacked by Daleks. Now, if you press forward, you actually accelerate. Which you need to do from time to time, otherwise, the Daleks will capture you. And when they capture you, they will exterminate you, believe it or not. Now, these hostages, if you can try and save them, save them. But you've got to try and shoot the cord. They're actually holding them in place. You have to really master them, which I don't quite know what hit they're supposed to shoot. So as a result of that, I'm actually killing more than I'm actually saving. But sometimes it does happen, there we go. There we go. But anyway, when you're playing as a two-player, you second player will actually control his assistant. And this game has music or sound effects, but not at the same time. But this is all this game, I'm gonna make it possible. So if you're watching this video, you're gonna hear both. Well, I've rescued one hostage at about 15 right now. But there we go. At the end of this level is a boss battle. There we go. I saved, I saved two of you. Right. Don't hit the walls, Jamie. Avoid the walls. And this is the sewer, which will take us towards central London. Okay. Not far away from the first boss. Kill these tentacle things on the ceiling. Here they come. Here comes trouble. Okay, boss battle. We have two snakes. I guess they are snakes, not dragons. Even though they fire fire like dragons do. But snakes don't fire fire. They look more like snakes. So, it's double trouble. We'll shoot them in the face. But at least the Daleks are not here. It's a case of just going down, shoot, and then go up. A bit like a yo yo. Right, there's one. Should be a tad easier now. One versus one. I like those odds better than two against one. Now behind him is a bomb. I'm assuming I've got to pick up. There we go. Not freshly done. So now we're on foot. Pick up the bomb and now we go up the ladder. And this takes us towards London. Okay, we're now out of the sewers. Now we're in London. There's Big Ben. There's the underground. Right, so we've got to try and pick up as many of these items as possible. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do, but rule number one, stay alive. We have a sonic screwdriver. Okay. Can we up the Daleks? I'm guessing not. Oh, we climb the lamppost. There's a signpost for Oxford Street. Okay. Oh, we're, we're climbing. Oh, that's alright. That's okay. Have the item on the roof. Oh, we've got three shots! My lord! I destroyed the Daleks! There we are! Yes, the sound effects in this are very much Alien 3. Right, okay, there's a bus. Can we get into the bus? No. I'm causing absolute chaos right now. Right, up we go. I'm doing a lot better this time than when I streamed it. I have streamed this game once before and I didn't get much further than what I did when I got out of that sewer. Right, some of these roof tiles break. Okay, let those. Whoa, these. Right, can't fall too far. Have bombs? How do you throw a bomb? Ah, like that. But I'm safe up here, and I'm destroying Daleks in the process. So collect the Doctor Who symbols, tokens, and climb the lamp posts. He's a good climber. What's that? Got it. Where it is?
Let me go. You've got to be really quick to press that button, otherwise you get exterminated and you see your skeleton. Failed in this mission, the doctor tries to escape. And stun wears off. You have been called Doctor, so the future of planet Earth is in my hand and no one can stop me now. Let's talk about the Queen song. Okay, that's it in my video. That's all I bought in September 2019. Not as many as last month, but these games are very, very expensive now. They're always going up in price and they're very difficult to get them in good conditions. Or in my case, fantastic conditions. But anyway, this is Jamie for more than games. Please like, please comment, please share, and please do subscribe to my channel on my Facebook fan page, on Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in more games games, you'll find it fairly easy. If you remember getting the bell icon, that will notify you of your videos. That would be fantastic. We're not doing these sort of videos. I do retro long plays about cheats. I do hammer beat making and live streams every Friday night, UK time at 8 o'clock. It's a highlight of the week. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. This smells of cat wee. I think my cat has weed on this. Uh, yeah, this stinks of cat wee. 90? Not bad. Mm, little croaky voice, my lord. <coughs> and your energy is the picture of Batman, but every time you take a hit, you slowly turn... <coughs> <coughs> Choking on cat wee. This really does hurt. My nose is killing me. Dan Dare 3. Dan Dare's full name is Colonel Daniel McGregor Dare. Born in Manchester, England, February 19... Oh. My cat walked in just now. He looked at me a very, very strange way. I don't know why. But then he's probably thinking, oh my lord, he's found out that I'm weeding his Batman mask. I better run away. Right, well, I'm out of bullets. I ain't going anywhere. But there's fuel behind him, but we can't shoot. I'm Batman. No, I'm not. I'm Jamie Morgan from Morgan's Games. I'm only Batman from time to time. Now, this is a game I had as a demo disc. But, but... Now, this game is tremendous, and we start the game with... Jamie, will you stop making mistakes? You're making so many mistakes, Jamie. Batman doesn't make this many mistakes. Bruce Wayne doesn't make this many mistakes. But you do. Hmm. Well, hopefully this will make people laugh. Or cry. I don't know. Power bar will work pretty much in the same way as the beam would in R-Type. The whole longer you hold the beam down, the fire the... At the moment, my toe is bleeding. <coughs> this mask is actually quite itchy, but I'm not talking about itchy and scratchy. Itchy and scratchy show! How rusty am I? About as rusty as that gate that's probably at the bottom of your garden that you haven't painted in about 15 years. Okay. This is one of the most uncomfortable masks I've ever worn. Not because it smelt of cat wee, but the padding is right here, right near my nose, and uh, it's rubbing against the top of my nose. And in between my eyes. Oh. I mean, there's padding here here but it doesn't make any difference it's so painful mind you it's probably for a child not a 37 year old <laughs>